So to make the 3D file of our rough drawing, so again, you're going to pick the best drawing you have. You've got all the parts labeled. You should have rough measurements on there as well. In Inventor, I'm going to go to File, click on New, and I'm going to make an assembly file. So again, we're working in inches, so make sure you're in English. Assembly, do the standard inches assembly file, create. So again, I get another blank screen. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take part files, like the ones we just created, and I'm going to bring them into the assembly and put them together. So up at the top, I'm going to hit Place Component, and I'm going to find, in that folder we just had, you've got your PVC pipe that you made and all of the parts that you downloaded. So I'm going to look at my drawing, and I know I need an elbow. So I'm going to click on Elbow. If you get these little errors, just hit Yes and OK. All right. So that just brought in that piece. So I just, right there, I just right-clicked and hit OK. So I look at my drawing. I have one elbow right here. Right here, I have a T. So I'm going to bring in a T. I have check valves, I have a ball valve, and I have, there will be some end caps on here for the nozzles. So I need an end cap, I need a ball valve, and check valves. Alright, so I'm going to go place. What do I need? I need, the ball valve is slightly different. You can use this ball valve assembly. And if I hold down control on the keyboard, I can click say that I also need a cap, I also need a check valve, and I need a T. So let's hit open. Again, you probably won't get these errors. All right. So this looks like a big old mess, but if I just zoom out, if I just click, it's going to put all those pieces down. So right click, hit OK. So now I can actually take these pieces, I can move them around however I need to. So what we're going to do is we're going to end up making our water blaster out of this. So I know I need a, water, a uh, ball valve over here. i got my check valve. I put little arrows just to, for, the, uh, for your reference of which direction the water is going to flow. All right. So if I need another part, I can either do place and find it again. So I know I need two check valves, so I can either click check valve again or a little shortcut. If I click on my piece over here on the left hand side, I see it's highlighted. There's my check valve. If I just click on that and drag it over, it's going to make a copy. So if I need another cap, click on it, bring it over, I have a copy of it. If you want to rotate a piece, if you need to, so let's say I know my elbow is different, if I need to rotate it, there's this free rotate button. You can try to do it. It's not very accurate. It's kind of difficult to use. So, Control Z un is an undo, just like everything else. But if I hit place, if I hit elbow. Before I click to put it down, you see I have my X, Y, and Z axis. So if I want to rotate that, 90 degrees, if I right click, say I want to rotate X 90. I put it down, so now it's rotated perfectly at 90. So let's delete this old one. Click it, delete it. All right, let's look at our drawing here. I'm just gonna bring this up to help. So I know this goes here, this check valve there, this T goes down here, this one's going to get rotated, this one goes over here, this one goes over here. All right, so roughly this is where all my pieces go. Now I need the pieces to connect to there. So this is where I'm going to add in that PVC pipe that I created. So I'm going to go to place. And I'm going to find that one I just created. I know I just made, 
Here we go. One and five inches, one and two and three quarter inches. I'm just going to open those to place those. So I have a copy of each one of those there. And you notice right there, it's kind of hidden. That is both pieces. All right, so let's put this piece into our ball valve and our cap right here to make the front. So got my ball valve, the pipe, and then there's this cap which goes on the end. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit this constrain button. Constrain is where you take two parts and put them together. For just about all of the things on this project, for this part right now, hit constrain, hit insert. Constrain, insert. Constrain, insert. All right. These are different types of ways to attach two pieces. So I'm going to come over here so I have the edge of my piece. Click it. Come over here so I have the inside of my piece right here. Click it. Hit apply. So now these two pieces are stuck together right there. So if I want to, say, put this cap on here. Now I can't see the inside of that cap very well, so I'm going to rotate it. Again, I've got the orbit button right here. But much easier is hold down shift on the keyboard, hold down the middle mouse button, and rotate it like that. So I want to be able to see the inside and the outside there. So constrain, insert, and insert this edge over that edge. Hit apply. Later on, we'll put a hole there to make the nozzle. All right. 